Um, first topic of discussion, let's keep it light. How about whatever Twitter shit posting has been happening? I think you go opening to... Uh, Oh, you're more in tune with this. Oh, my, I'm about to poison your mind. So the recent thing that uh, the online left has been losing its shit around mm -hmm. is uh, arguably the highest grossing uh, internet leftist or whatever you want to call it, uh, Hassan mm -hmm. Abi, uh, yeah. a, a, a sexy Turkish motherfucker, uh, mm -hmm. made a lot of money through uh, his Twitch efforts mm -hmm. uh, and uh, to such an extent that he... Um, stopped renting and chose mm. to purchase a rather uh i mean it's not extremely large but because it's mm. in a, in la it was mm. a two plus million dollar house so Ooh. immediately liberals uh, from all over uh, uh the online sphere which have always had a problem with uh, with the said gentleman uh, mm -hmm. started uh, shitting on him with the uh, typical uh, anti-socialist uh, rhetoric that uh, anyone who is relatively wealthy and still considers himself a left-wing individual, that they are an mm -hmm. absolute hypocrite, which comes mm -hmm. as a contrast to, obviously, when you are poor and you are a leftist, then, <coughs> then you are a shill who uh, wants to take other people's money and you're only a leftist because uh, you yourself do not have money. And this mm -hmm. contrast contrast between these these two opinions where the truth I feel is much more uh, gray and uh, should be explored more through a material analysis and not just the oh, oh, rich man bad uh, is comes mm -hmm. as uh, you know as uh, something that neither of these sides talk about but yeah this is basically kind of the overview of the situation and a lot of a lot of leftists came to to you know not support but to say okay this is bullshit criticism mm -hmm. others were like uh, okay you cannot support the working class uh, while you are wealthy uh, etc etc and I, I guess mm -hmm. we can we can go from there my standpoint is very simple i have always talked about it socialism does not mean poverty if you have the ability to make your life better or more financially stable inside of mm. inside of capitalism but as as long as you do not betray your class uh, that is something absolutely acceptable to do you obviously <coughs> should not uh, become an exploiter meaning a landlord a big business owner uh, or, or anything that pushes you away from uh, the, the the material conditions uh, which uh, you have existed in up until that moment Mm. Uh, but I also understand the absolutely eloquent and on point uh, argument that once a person changes, for example, their social class becoming mm. richer, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, being surrounded by richer people, even if they are not a landlord or a business owner, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, uh, their motivation to stay a socialist might start going away. And we've seen that a lot with both creators. I've seen that with people in my own life. Uh, we've seen that all over the place where, you know, mm -hmm. people become wealthier and they completely give up on the socialist dream because literally there's mm -hmm. not enough uh, material reasons for them to remain as such. I yeah. honestly, in this specific case, do not see it happening with uh, with Hassan at all. <coughs> he has always uh, been a kind of a point of entry for leftists in general uh, online. Do I disagree probably with him on like 95% of things? Not 95, but probably 50%. He's much more, you know, social democratic, etc., etc., which are all fair criticism to, to have towards him. But the idea that uh, because he has started earning more and more uh, on Twitch specifically, that that somehow makes him less of a Marxist, in my modest opinion, is a mm. uh, ill-placed uh, argument, and it's missing the bigger picture that the, the actual uh, class enemies that we need to uh, indirectly defeat uh, are not like your local uh, fucking DJ that makes uh, 300,000 a, a year because he's a wealthy good DJ but people who, whose wealth is so absolutely immensely massive that uh, uh, comparing compared to local petite bourgeois it's absolutely anything so yes misdirected anger that's all I'm saying yeah no for sure I I agree mostly with your side of the argument. Um, um, not to, you know, uh, it's it's a 
uh, oft repeated phrase. It's almost a, a platitude at this point, but there is no ethical, ethical consumption under capitalism. If somebody chooses to buy a home through some uh, income that they've earned uh, in more, I guess, quote unquote, rightful ways than others, I mean, uh, we get into the philosophy of what you consider Twitch to be. And if it's a quote unquote real job, if you feel that the compensation that they get is uh, proportional to the amount of effort they put in, all that kind of stuff, there can be a conversation around that. But my point kind of relies a lot on what you said, um, that we shouldn't have this uh, culture of the of the you know the left eating its own um yes it's a bit like sketchy that he bought such an expensive home but if he had the wealth to he can kind of do what he wants with it um that's more of a personal argument my personal perspective is this you should not compromise your political beliefs and you shouldn't have um once you're you, as as a member of the proletarian class you shouldn't switch allegiances solely by increased income because your class and your class nature is defined by relations to the means of production. So what ends up happening a lot is people who end up getting more money uh, end up with a petty bourgeois ideology that kind of envelops them. Yeah, yeah. yeah, exactly. You see this a lot with the uh, professionals, um, like middle-level professionals. I'm talking about doctors, um, engineers, lawyers. Uh, people have avenues to start small-scale private business that is nonetheless lucrative. Um, where they become, they get a petty bourgeois mindset, despite the fact that through whatever they're doing, it's a practical impossibility for them to become a member of the capitalist class. Um, same thing with Hassan. Um, but at the end of the day, honestly, I don't see what the, the, the controversy re really is. Like, it, maybe some people think like, oh, he could have used all that money to, um, what's it called, to, 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 uh, uh, support local organizations and and uh, um, motivation towards organization, all that kind of stuff. But also, on the other hand, um, look, this is where it gets complicated because we need to think about um, different. Everybody has their different conditions, right? And we're materialists at the end of the day, and we need to realize that some people. Um, for example, in his particular, because I don't watch him, I I've never seen a stream of his. I don't know. I only know what he looks like, and I know I think he was on the on the Young Turks before. Other than that, I know very little of him. Um, but from what I see, he seems to be a very media person. Um, I don't know yes, if he does yes. like. Yeah, I don't know if he has like uh, if he does interviews on his show. I don't know if he if, what he does, but um, the very fact that he's in LA means that he probably stayed in LA for the uh, business relation side of things. Um, because if you want to just stream, you can go and live in Wyoming somewhere very cheaply uh, and still um, do your job perfectly fine. But uh, in Wyoming, the sort of connections that you can make aren't the same as in, within L.A., so it, it makes sense why I stayed there. As for property prices, I think we need to realize that the price itself is more tied to the location. Um, if that's that same home, I, I haven't seen pictures of, uh, I didn't even know about this news until today. Um, if that house was, like I said, in the aforementioned example in Wyoming, for example, then it would have been much uh, larger or much cheaper for that relative amount of money that was paid. With all that being said, um, yeah, I guess it's kind of like, it, it makes you raise an eyebrow, but I don't think it's like, oh, you know, he's not a Marxist anymore. He, recanted like it's a heresy i don't think we should think of it that way um but uh, my like sole conclusion on my one point is who cares honestly who who cares same, so what same uh, yeah. like okay he's one guy there's so many other you know and uh, if he's done good for the movement proportionally then why like i guess it's okay it's a very very difficult um uh field to navigate and personally i haven't given a given enough thought if i were in the same position i wouldn't have done what he did but then again, I don't. I'm not in the material conditions that he's in. I don't know about his uh, business contracts or what he has, or what he's obligated to f fulfill, and what form that needs to take place in, and so on and so forth. So uh, yeah, that's. But my, my general point is, who who cares? <laughs> Generally, I could not. I could not agree more. The thing when discussing lifestyles, whatever they may be, uh, and linking them to. Uh, what we define as more expensive or more modest living and then linking that to the Marxist analysis of the world can lead us to uh, 
potential infighting amongst each other because one guy or girl or etc can afford something well you cannot and therefore you start seeing them as more of the class enemy than they they actually are if if we concentrate on this we only from my perspective it only leads to uh more infighting inside of the working class between those living in uh, abject poverty and those doing relatively okay because usually let's face it they were they were a bit luckier to have uh, certain things available to them than the others who are uh, far poor never had the opportunity to uh, to receive or to interact with so th th all i'm saying is that it's moving the perspective whenever we do this it's moving the perspective of the wider goal and of uh, genuine cl class solidarity away from uh, from the from the system itself over to you know your fellow neighbor who uh, bought a new Mercedes the other the other week uh, mm. and it's 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 just uh, it's, to me, that is not what Marxism is about. We are not shitting on someone because they're wearing, I don't know, jewelry. We're not. Uh, we're not proposing the idea that everybody uh, should, uh, you know, live as if uh, they're, I don't know, an ascetic monk from mm. the Caucasus Mountains. But quite to the opposite, the idea is to raise everyone to a to a level which in which they uh, receive the actual fruits of their their full labor yeah. um, i think uh, we can connect that to a point of indivi individualism versus a collective um we have to remember that yeah he the guy he's one dude right um i think what he did would be very uh, bad optics if you want to even use that word but it would look very bad and it would be intrinsically a bad thing to do uh, if he was part of an organization and let's say he is um uh, I'll, I'll give an example um imagine if within the bolsheviks right at the prior to the revolution there had been members of like the the central committee uh who uh, were also vastly wealthy uh, and as they agitate for you know um well for the revolution they also own multi-million uh, dollar properties like the equivalent of it um there becomes a mismatch right and then it will directly affect uh the ability of the organization to carry out its work effectively um basically it ties into the point of hypocrisy um as an individual, it doesn't matter. As as far as I know, he's not part of any organization. I don't even know if he's actually a Marxist. Uh, some people in the chat mentions mentioned that he calls himself a quote unquote democratic socialist. Um, I don't know if that's him just trying to be more palatable, or if he generally is one of those more soft, soft demi types who who thinks yeah, like more healthcare and uh, like you know no school debt, but nothing more than that. Uh, but what I'm, my point being is that uh, we need to consider that uh, when it comes to personal um consumption and uh, the forms that it takes it only really matters once it directly relates to the class struggle so this is my point if you are in a moment that's not it's not a revolutionary moment and uh, everybody just living their life and you decide to you know i don't know go and buy yourself a new video game console or some shit i don't know right um that doesn't reflect negatively on you as a marxist or something it doesn't negate your you know your your commie card isn't revoked or anything um but if you are in part of an organization and it is building towards a revolutionary moment and instead of whatever spare funds that you may have either be uh, either uh, if they be uh, of the organization of, or of your own um and instead of uh, directly contributing to the organization and the end goal uh, you decide to solely consume with that um then it can become problematic and even then it depends on the circumstances revolving around it um i think putting a, a magnifying glass over a single person and what they've decided to do is very it's a very liberal sort of thing to say it's like when you see like celebrities and then they have the um they they, they join a uh, climate change uh, what's it called demonstration but they use they fly around in private in private jets and <clears throat> excuse me in private jets Yes, it's wrong, but then again, it's such on it's their effect is on such a minuscule scale that um, the character assassination that follows really doesn't matter because at the end of the day, it won't change their habits of using uh, like private jets or whatever the fuck. And the real culprits of heavy climate change uh, are not affected in the least. For example, prime prime example being the American military. Um, so yeah, I, I think uh, having uh, 
centering more on appropriate critique, general social critique, rather than just highlighting a single individual and being like, oh, look what they did to, uh, by whatever measure to themselves, improve their life um, point, and oh, you're a hypocrite, all that kind of stuff, personally. 